Hey, Julio. Good evening, teacher. Hello. How are you now? ¿Cómo estás ya? ¿Estás mejor? Ya, yeah, un poco mejor. Ay, qué bueno, qué bueno. Hay que cuidarse. En estos días hay que cuidarse. Sí. ¿Qué tal? ¿Todo bien? Gracias a Dios, ya. Un poco mejor. ¿Qué tal de trabajo? Eh, me dieron tres días de capacidad. Ah, vaya, bueno. Sí. Descansando. <risa> Pero tú no te toca viajar mucho para el trabajo, no te toca ir muy lejos. Hasta el aeropuerto. Que dos horas. Hasta el aeropuerto. Dos horas. Es un largo viaje. Hey William, welcome. Thanks. Hey. Ya vino la encuesta. Sí, ya se las enviaron, ¿verdad? Es correcto. Así que ahí quedamos pendientes. El viernes ahí les damos un tiempecito para que la hagan. ¿Sí? Hey, Glenda. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Luis. Meaning. Welcome. Thank you. No corre. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Very good. Okay. Hay hay gallina. Hay una gallina. Teacher, el lunes vamos a seguir. Yes. El lunes seguimos, vamos a tener una extra. extra. No, es la despedida. Eso sí, <risa> sí. Hay que preparar la reunión. Vamos a hacer el party. Sí. El party virtual. A ver si enciende esta lámpara. Mm, más o menos. Atrapando la gallina. Sí, se ve mejor. Sí. Por rato me desaparecía, pero ya creo que a esta distancia ya no. 
va a tocar escribir en el pizarrón. Ah, sí. <risa> un pizarrón de yeso. De yeso, ajá. No <risa> corre. Hay algunos aquí que quizás no conocieron esos pizarrones de yeso. Ay, Glenda, no se me vaya a dormir que con usted vamos hasta las 11. Ay, no, no. No puede ser. Voy a ser un día más pesado todavía. Ah, de verdad. Sí. Pero voy a procurar no dormirme, tío. Pero usted está joven, hombre. Ah, por favor, que me hace. Ok, it's time. Let's start tonight. I want to start with a review from yesterday. Vamos a revisar el ejercicio que les dejé al final. Noche. Ah. Acá tengo algo otro. No, 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 carga eso. no, 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 Okay. Well, last night I gave you this exercise to practice there is, there are, remember? Mm. Study the affirmative form, there is, there are for plural, the negative form, um, there aren't, there aren't any, the reason, también. And the question, is there a pen on this table? Are there two pens on the table? Y teníamos que completar estas oracioncitas acá. Dice una, vamos a ver si vamos a andar un poquito. There is a library next to the park. Singular. Remember that that is important. Is singular or plural? So this is singular. Because it's a library. So we use there is. Here, number two, all the students went home. Student, singular or plural, is plural. So we use there aren't. There aren't any, any, we use any for negative sentences only. Any for negative sentences. There aren't any students in the classroom. Okay. What about number three? There are 50 stay in the United States. Okay, very good. Let me write that. There. Are. There are 50 states in the United States. Okay, perfect. This number four. Somebody different? Having mass? Number four. Mm. No, polar bears at the South Pole. Uh, there aren't. 
There aren't. They aren't. Mm -hmm. There aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Hoy, el de los sorbetes por ahí, comprenme uno. Number five. Is there a message for me? Ah, no. ah wait, give me, give me a chance. Is, no. Is there, there. Mm -hmm. is there a message for me? No, there isn't. There isn't. Excellent. No, there isn't. Okay. Vamos a ver alguien más. A ver, William, number six. No, no lo veo. <laughs> Why so many cars in the parking lot? Singular or plural? Eh, singular, no, perdón, plural. Plural, okay. Yes. It's a question. Uh, there are. It's a question. Ah, sí, sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Entonces, uh, William. Sería. Are there. Are there, sí. Okay. Are there. Are... Yes. Why are there so many cars in the parking lot. All right. Ah, no, so many. So many. Okay. A ver. Glenda, number seven. There is. Hungry. There is. Ah, very good. Are you hungry? No? Yes. <laughs> okay, I'm not hungry. I have my dinner. Okay, I'm hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. Good. Number A, let me ask to Wilfredo. How many days are there? How are many days there? are there? Ah, okay. How many days are there in March? 30 or 31? Good. Mm -hmm. Now, Miss Francis, number nine. No. A few things I have to do this afternoon. They are. Yeah, I did. It's not a question, it's a sentence. They are, okay. There. No me diga they. There. Uh, there. 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 Uh -huh. there are. Muy bien. Very good. Number 10. Cecilia. A post office nearby? It's a question. Is singular or plural? Uh, singular. Singular. So? Is there. Excellent. Hey, you are very intelligent, guys. Is there a post office nearby? I'm sorry, I don't know. 
Ok. Vamos a ver quién más está aquí abajo. Roberto. Ok, Robert. Eleven. Something I can help you with. Turn on your microphone, please. Is there something there? I can help you with? Okay. Is there something is singular? Something is singular. Very good. Melvin, number 12. No, public holidays next month. Uh, no, there is public holiday. Uh, no, is yes. singular or plural? It's plural. Ah, okay. Plural. Negative or no. affirmative? Yes. Uh huh. Uh, no, there are. Public holidays next month. No, there are. Are, are or are? Are. Are. We can use any here. We can use it or not. It's optional, but it's very common. No, there aren't any. Public holidays next month. No hay feriados públicos next month. O no hay ningún, ¿verdad? Ok, any. So any only gives more Money. emphasis. Countries. 13, let's go with Delmi. How many countries mm -hmm, in the world? Singular or plural? <coughs> Tell me. Plural. It's plural. Tell me. You are like. Princess Elsa, frozen. <laughs> Yo no te escuché, Delmi. Solo, uh, 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 uh. Are there? Ah, okay. Let's see. How many countries are there in the world? Good. ¿Quién está aquí más abajo? Hola. A ver. Más. Ya no hay nadie más ahorita. Entonces volvamos. A ver, Julio César, no estuviste ayer, pero si, si ya le captaste de, estos, de, estos, de esta práctica, ¿crees que puedes hacer sí. la 14, 14? There is a woman in the picture. Yes. Mira, muchacho, eh, no estuvo ayer, bárbaro. There is a woman in the picture. She's smiling. And Wilfredo, 15. Only three more days before the exam. Let's study. There is. Okay. Singular or plural, Wilfredo? Uh, it's plural. Ah. So? There. There. There, are. there are. There are. There are, yes. There are only three more days before the exam. Let's study. Now, let's practice the pronunciation. Any question with this? No question?
No? No. Clear? No. Clear like water. Okay, repeat please. There is a library next to the park. There is a, there is a library. library next to the park. Good. All the students went home. There aren't any students in the classroom. All the students, okay. students went home. And there aren't any students in the classroom. Number three. There are 50 states in the United States. There are 50 states in the United States. Or, no, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. No, there aren't polar bears at the South Pole. Five. Is there a message for me? Is there a message for me? No, there isn't. No, there isn't. There isn't. Okay. No, there isn't. Why are there so many cars in the parking lot? Why, Why are, are there, are there so many cars in the parking lot? I'm hungry. There is a restaurant across the street. I'm hungry. There is a restaurant, a restaurant across the street. Good. How many days are there in March? 30 or 31? There are a few things I have to do this afternoon. There are a few things I have to do this afternoon. Number 10. Is there a post office nearby? Is there a post office nearby? I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry, I don't know. 11. Is there something I can help you with? Is there something I can help you with? No, there aren't any public holidays next month. No, there aren't any public holidays next month. How many countries are there in the world? How many, many countries are there in the world? There is a woman in the picture. She's smiling. There is a woman in the picture. She is smiling. And 15. There are only three more days before the exam. There is a woman in the picture. There are three more days before the exam. Yes. Let's study. Very good. Okay. That is, there is and there are. No. Now let's talk about, oh, there is an exercise here that we didn't, we didn't do last night. <clears throat> uh, 
Okay, this is similar. Complete the expression on uh, this expression. There are a lot of a lot of companies down the street. A lot of is a quantifier. So le da idea de de cantidad a esto. Es un quantificador. Quantifier. Yo digo a lot of. There are a lot of mosquitoes. Yeah. There are a lot of uh, problems in the company. There are a lot of uh, what? Books in this library. So a lot of. And some also is a quantifier. Yeah. Some, there are some supermarkets. Some, maybe one, two, three. Uh, some. Okay, those are quantifiers. Uh, so look at these sentences. The idea is to complete them with there is or there are. Uh, five sentences, six sentences. Okay. I will send you to the small groups and I'm going to give you three minutes to complete this exercise. Take the screenshot, please. Take the screenshot and in two or three minutes, complete these sentences. Okay, are you ready? Ready. Okay, yeah? Did you take the screenshot? Okay, I'm going to send those groups. Four groups. <laughs> Somebody's happy. Okay, entregan los grupos y hacen eso rapidito.
Good night, teacher. Good night, teacher. Hello, hello, Karen. ¿Qué estaban haciendo? Uh, right now, working in groups, but it's time to for them to come back. Okay, so. Okay. Estamos trabajando en el ejercicio de la página 42 en el libro. Bye. El de completar las preguntas, ¿verdad? Ya te, ya te lo muestro. Quantifier. ¿Qué es quantifier? Quantifiers son eh, palabras que expresan cantidad. Como a lot of or some. Okay. A lot of, yeah. there are a lot of, there is some, some quantifiers. Okay, ya, ya lo tengo. Okay. Okay. Lo voy a completar ahorita. Okay, who can read me number one? There is marketing presentation across the street in the morning. Okay. Uh, una cosita le falta ahí. Or an. Okay. Uh, marketing. Oh, yes. There is a marketing presentation. Let me write it here. There's a, okay. There's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. What about number two? Who can read me number two? There are some business workshop down the street. Okay. There are some business workshops. Number three, alguien más, que me lea el number three. ¿Quién más, quién más? The Democratics. There are no recruitment centers around my building. Okay. okay, there are no, yes. There are no. Good. Number four. Okay, mas. Vamos, vamos. Ladies, ladies. Where are the ladies? They are. They. There is no story on the corner of Rusper Street and Second Avenue. Okay, very good. Escucha. Sí. Yes. Sí. Perfect. Number five. Another lady, another girl. There is an Aranza building around the corner. There is. No, well, okay. No, well. There are. There are some. 
there are some. Um, number four, no, number, ¿cuál me está? Estamos en number five, esta. There are banks behind the factory. Ah, okay. There are, there are some banks. There are some behind the factory I work. A ver, ¿qué otro pudiéramos usar? There are a lot, a lot of. of. Ah, podríamos usar a lot of. Si sí, es el caso, ¿no? There are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. Hay muchos. And finally, this. There is Aranza building around the corner. Okay. There is. ¿Qué le faltaría? Um, Aranza building. And Aranza building. There is an. Hay un. Eso es esto con quantifiers. Ok, let's practice. Repeat, please. There's a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There is a marketing presentation across the street in the morning. There are some business workshops down the street. There are some, there are some business, business workshops down, down the street. street. There are no recruitment centers around my building. There are no recruitment centers around my building. There's no store on the corner of Roosevelt Street and 2nd Avenue. There's no store, store on the corner of the second There are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. There are a lot of banks behind the factory I work. There is an Aranza building around the corner. There is an Aranza building around the corner. Okay. Any question? Me encontré. Porque me encontré. No. Now let's move here. And look at these people talking about their workplaces. Hablando de los lugares donde ellos trabajan. Yeah, Mr. Paz and Mrs. Aguilar are talking about their workplaces. Como son? Dice Mr. Paz, hablándonos de su lugar de trabajo, dice, uh, There is a beautiful lobby. There are comfortable rooms. There's a huge, huge is very big. There's a huge parking lot. There are three high A beautiful lobby. And he okay, there are comfortable rooms. He said, okay, there is a huge parking lot. A huge. There are 
three high tech elevators. There are three high technology elevators. But at Mrs. Aguilar office or company, there is a narrow reception. Narrow is very small. Gosto. Yeah, estrecho. There is a narrow reception area. There are two dirty dining rooms. Dirty. Dirty is the opposite of clean. There is an ugly, ugly photocopy center. Ugly is the opposite of beautiful. Ugly. And there are small offices. Small offices. Okay. Now, um, any question with this? No? No. 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 Very good. So, now you have to do something with this information. Read again the information and you have to respond these questions. You have to respond these questions. How does Mr. Paz describe his workplace? What does Mrs. Aguilar think about her workplace? On which of the two places do you want to work and why? Okay. Let me show you again the this conversation. Or oh, not, it's not a conversation, the, the information. Take the screenshot, please, of this. Take it. Now, to respond this quest. Take the screenshot of the questions. And I'm going to send you to the to your group. I want you to respond these questions, okay? Then we're going to compare. Groups, again. And later, we are going to compare. No, 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 no. Oh, no, vamos a volverlo a hacer. Regresen, regresen, no vamos a volver a hacer que hay varios fuera. Come back, come back, come back. Okay, I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to create the group because they already entered a few, and if no estaban en grupo. Ahora sí. 
Ahora sí, vuelvan a entrar, por favor. Entren, entren. Pasó del mi. Me está fallando el inter, teacher. Me saca ah. cada rato. Ah. Si quiere, pues. Apague el video. Ajá. Porque no sé si va a ser mejor o peor. <ríe> sí, ayuda un poco. Ayuda un poco cuando, cuando se apaga la cámara. Bueno, si quiere, se queda ahí para, para que no la vuelva a sacar. Vaya.
macam macam Okay, welcome back. Muy bien. So, how does Mr. Perez describe his workplace? Well, how does Mr. Pastor are beautiful lobby? Mm -hmm. There are comforter rooms. Okay. So it's beautiful, comfortable. So be parking. Ah. Let's see. So, and Mrs. Aguilar, what does she say? Narrow, dirty, dirty, ugly, yeah, ugly. Uh -huh. Okay. What place do you prefer? In the office, Mr. Pass. Mr. Pass, yes. Mr. Pass. Okay, very good. And what about your workplace? Ah. Look at this. Today we are going to study some adjectives. We use adjectives to describe places to describe people to describe objects we use adjectives okay and we have positive adjectives and negative adjectives let's see some examples of positive adjectives Some positive adjectives are this. Look, listen. Let me use the, the arrow, this arrow. Positive adjectives. There are comfortable, comfortable rooms. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There is an illuminated training room. So those are positive. And negative adjectives. There is a narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly, smelly living room. Okay. So the adjective, the adjectives are uh, comfortable, huge, nice. Illuminated. These are adjectives. Okay. And here the adjectives are narrow, small, 
disgusting and smelly. Now let's practice. Repeat, please. Repeat. There are comfortable rooms. There are comfortable rooms. Comfortable. Comfortable. They are comfortable. There is a huge parking lot. There is a huge parking lot. There is a huge parking lot. There are nice places to rest. There are, there are nice, 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 nice places to rest. rest. There is an illuminated training room. There, there is, is an illuminated training room. There is an illuminated training room. Negative adjectives are there is a narrow reception area. There is a there is narrow There are small there is a offices. narrow reception area. There are small offices. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a disgusting kitchen area. There is a smelly living room. There is a smelly living room. Okay. Any question with this? No questions? No, perfect. Okay. Now I you have to complete these sentences using the words provided. Now, for example, number one, you have the words small and gym. You have to write sentences like this. Yeah. Pueden agregarle, pueden agregarle de otras cosas. Nah, por ejemplo, ahí dice small gym. Pueden decir, hay un pequeño gimnasio en mi colonia. Ya, hay un pequeño gimnasio cerca de mi casa. Hay un pequeño gimnasio en la calle Roosevelt. Ok, agreguen un poco más para formar oraciones. New training rooms. Tenemos ahí también. Más tenemos abajo. Ella puede, puede Formen hacer. oraciones ahí. Sean creativos, usen su imaginación. Se pueden apurar por la madre. Uy, ya no puede dormir. La vaca dice más. La vaca dice más. Ok. Usen su imaginación para armar oraciones. New training rooms. Clean cafeterias. Small meeting room, unpleasant bathrooms, tiny cubicle. Bien, los voy a, a enviar de nuevo a sus grupos. Armen las oraciones, usen su imaginación, agréguenle algo ahí para que quede más eh, eh, completa, más explícita ¿ya? y luego comparamos los, los trabajos ¿está claro lo que van a hacer? ok, interpreto su silencio take the screenshot please take the screenshot groups
Ok, entren a los grupos y escriban oraciones ahí. Para afuera, lo vamos a agregar.
Okay, welcome back. Vamos a pasar asistencia, si es que turn on your cameras for a moment, please. Turn on your cameras and respond loud, okay? Okay. William Amarildo. Present. Okay. Angela Patricia Rivas. Angela. Here. Here. Okay. Francisco Javier. No. Wilfredo Vicente. Here. Uh, Max Fausto Goches. No. Francisca del Mira Guillén. Here. Good, thank you. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo. Here, teacher. Thank you. Uh, Luis Ernesto Montano. Luis Ernesto. Por ahí está, teacher. Sí, sí. Vamos a ver. Eh, Edgar Ricardo Rivas. Here. Ok. Eh, Rafael Antonio Santos. Here. Thank you. Julio César Pérez. Present. Thank you. Roberto Alexander Sánchez. Here. Thank you. Uh, Karen Stephanie Flores. Here. Thank you. Uh, José Jacinto Rafael. Ah, lo tengo, lo tengo, lo tengo, lo tengo. Ah. No. Ok, Luis. Arne Vanessa. Present. Thank you. Uh, Melvin Gilberto Pérez. Thank you. Glenda Ligia. Here. Thank you. Uh, Cecilia Elizabeth Reynosa. Here. Thanks. Héctor Eduardo López. Here. Thanks. And Delia Beatriz Vázquez. Here. José Jacinto. Here, teacher. Thank you. Here. Okay. Here. Así es. Thank you. Escuchar si sí, que quede grabado los que están aquí. Okay, let's check your your work. Expediciones ahí creativas. Senior imagination. Okay, aquí está. Vamos a ver, empecemos con Melvin. Number one, Melvin. Small gene. ¿Qué pusieron ustedes? There is a small gene in a corner. Okay. Only que cuando... Dijiste corner. Corner. Okay. Pero cuando usamos corner, usar on the corner. Okay. Okay, on the corner. Good. A ver, number two. Tell me. Ay, no, teacher. <laughs> Permítame, teacher. Okay. Permitimos. Es que, es que esa me tocó a mí. <laughs> Ajá, es que nos le repartimos. <laughs> 
In the well, no, le voy a decir la dos, me la voy a inventar. Eso, eso. Vaya. In the human resource are new training rooms. Ah, okay. Human resources, en todo caso, sería tiene, has new training rooms. Está bien, ok. Number, eh, la otra dice number two también. Clean cafeterias, clean cafeterias. Preguntémosle a, a Roberto. Clean cafeterias, Roberto. Um, there are clean cafeterias in the hospital. Ah, okay. Muy bien. Number four, smart meeting room. Uh, preguntémosle a um, Edgar. Smart um, meeting room. ¿Cuál es? ¿Cuál? At work we use a smart software for the meeting room. Ah, ah. bueno, pero... Okay, it's good. It's a good sentence. ¿Verdad? La, la, la idea acá, la idea acá era que el meeting room es smart. No sé cómo, tal vez porque tiene mm. la pantalla, eh, qué sé yo, digital o algo así. En ese caso, la oración está bien, solo que el smart es el software. ¿Verdad? This is a smart yes. software. ¿Ok? Pero está bien, es una buena oración. Estamos usando el adjetivo smart and software. Ok, preguntémosle ahora a Héctor, number five, on pleasant bathrooms. Héctor. Excuse me. Excuse me, teacher. Okay. There, there are an unpleasant bathroom in the colony. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. So, look at colony. Es este... La colonia, pero de la época de los españoles. Yeah. Ah, okay. Eh, cuando hablamos del vecindario, de la colonia donde vivimos, usually in English is neighborhood. Ah, right? ne el vecindario, neighborhood. neighborhood. Ok. Good. Aunque sí, también yo creo que en los tiempos de la colonia, los bathrooms deben haber sido unpleasant. ¿Verdad? En la colonia. En la historia de los romanos lo no describe mal. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. And number six. Tiny cubicle. Tiny cubicle. A ver quién. Voluntariamente, ¿quién tiene esa? Eh, there ¿Qué? is tiny cubicle in my office. Ok. There is... Tiny cubicle in my office. Okay. Yes. Good. Vamos a ver. What else do we have here? Vamos a pantalla para ver. Muy bien. Okay, now uh, I'm going to give you five minutes 
but you are going to work individually, okay? Um, because I don't know if some of you are are co-workers. Some of you are co-workers. Some of you are co-workers. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. 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 Can yes. you who are co workers? Luis Montano. Luis is my co worker. Yes. Luis and Vladimir. Yes, teacher. Luis. Rafael Santos is my Rafael. worker. Rafael y Edgar. Yes. Ah. Mrs. Cecilia. Ah, Cecilia and Glenda. Yes. Solamente. Yes. Yes. Y ahí no hay más co-workers. Morderme. Bye. Mi compañero ya no está. Ya no está. Es que la the idea is that uh, you are going to describe using this vocabulary write like I don't know maybe five sentences talking about your workplace. Okay, using these adjectives, using this vocabulary, want you to write a short description of your workplace. Okay, so in my work, we have clean rooms or bathrooms, or in my work, there are smelly bathrooms. I don't know. Right? In my work, there is a small cafeteria. For example, no sé. Okay? So the idea is that in five sentences, you write a short description of your workplace talking about positive things, positive things, and negative things. Okay? Negative. Only five sentences. Sin corazones por todo. Puede que escriban three positive and two negative. ¿Verdad? O como ustedes quieran. Le prometo que no vamos a pasar esto a su oficina. No se van a... <risa> ok. Pero igual, está... Va, lo voy a dejar trabajando individualmente mejor. ¿Verdad? Individualmente. Trabajen. ¿No? Esto no se puede hacer en grupo porque no todos trabajan en... en igual de lugares, ¿verdad? Entonces, voy a dar okay. minutos to write sentences describing your workplace. ¿Ok? Ok. Ok, teacher. Okay. Solo los voy a silenciar para que no se escuche el, por ahí la película que están viendo en casa.
Hola, hola. Perdón. Es teacher Saúl, una consulta. Hola. Bien. Yeah. No, el Sonsa me desconectó y hace poquito me conecté. Eh, ¿En qué ejercicio, qué sección vamos? Ah, we are on page 44, activity 6. This is, uh, you only have to write five sentences describing positive things of your work and two, maybe three positive and two negative using descriptions like in the exercise. Dimos, uh, por ejemplo, there in my work, there are small offices. Uh, or in my work, we have a clean cafeterias. Or in my work, there is a a nice uh, reception area. Cosa así. So real information about your company you know, using the adjectives in this we studied in this class. Is that clear, Rafael? Okay, I get it. Thank you. Okay, no problem. Teacher. Huh? Teacher, one question. One question. Gradas, gradas. Stairs. How do you say gradas? Stairs. Stairs. S. Stairs. S. T. A. I. T R. S. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then. No problem.
Ok, vamos a ver. Eh, quiero que me digan una. Only one sentence. Ok. I'm going to ask some of you only one sentence. Then uh, I'm going to send you again to small groups. And in the small group, you are going to share with your classmates. Ahí van a compartir, ¿verdad? Más. Here, just one sentence to uh, practice a little bit. Let's start with uh, William. Hi. Give me one sentence describing your work. Only one. Yes. Uh, there are a lot of comp computer. Pardon. There are a lot of computers in my workplace. Okay. Good. Um. Let's see, uh, Francis. Hello. Only one sentence. La primera. Um, I am very organized. Okay. Uh, but the idea is to describe the place, the lugar. Yeah? Uh, I, I am very organized in the office. Sí, pero ahí se está describiendo usted. Yo okay. soy. My, um, but so. my co-work co is, is messy. Uh, okay, your your office. Está hablando de su oficina o de su. Is the office. Okay, my office. My office. Is messy. Is messy, huh? Ah, okay. Uh, pero la, el orden debe ser. Um, I work. In an in a messy office. ¿Ya? Su oración está bien, pero lo que estamos usando es, es esta forma. Porque decíamos, in my in my work there are small uh, there or there is a small parking lot. ¿Ya? Small parking lot. En ese caso sería, my, uh, I work in a messy office. Algo así. Ok. O, in my work, we have, tenemos, o, o yo tengo, I have a messy office. ¿Me explico? Esa es la forma de las oraciones. Yes. ¿verdad? Y así hablarnos del lugar, qué otras cosas hay, cómo es el, el lugar de trabajo. Ok, veamos. Okay. Eh, Héctor. Ok. <clears throat> In my world, there are offices with a comfortable space. Okay, there are offices with, with qué? With comfortable space. Comfortable. I don't get it. Espacio comfortable. Huh? Espacio comfortable. Ah, 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 I'm sorry. Comfortable space. Okay. Mm -hmm. Comfortable space. Okay. Uh, Rafael? Santos? Hello? Can you read one sentence, please? Okay. Uh, in my workplace, we have a small parking lot. 
but is organized. Okay, very good, very good. Algo así, ¿verdad? Entonces, now I'm going to send you to the small groups and you can share all your sentences. Ahí pueden compartir todas las oraciones, ¿verdad? Se pueden turnar y leyendo una cada uno y así van en la ronda hasta leerlas todas. ¿Ok? Muy bien. Vamos a enviarlo a los grupos. Vamos a hacer grupos. Ah. Pero antes de enviarlo, vamos con la segunda sesión. Hoy sí tenemos que terminar puntual por aquello de que vamos con las sesiones personalizadas. So, please turn on your cameras and speak loud. William Amarillo. Adeolo. Present. Ángela okay. eh, Patricia Rivas. Present. Thank you. Francisco Javier Calderón. Absent. Wilfredo Vicente. Uh, here. Good. Max Fausto Gonches. Absent. Francisca Delmira Guillén. Here. Thank you. Vladimir Arturo Carrillo. Here, teacher. Thank you. Luis Ernesto Montano. Luis. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you. Edgar Ricardo Rivas. Here. Present. Okay, Luis, ya te escuchamos. Gracias. Eh, Rafael Antonio Santos. Here. Thank you. Roberto Alexander Sánchez. Pero que es mío, Julio. ¿Ah? Oh, Julio okay. César. Julio César. Ahí está. Sí. Bien. Roberto. Ok. Eh, Karen Stephanie. Here. Thank you. Uh, José Jacinto, Rafael. José Jacinto. Ay, a la hora de la lista se le cayó. Arlen Vanessa García. Arlen también se me cayó. Melvin Gilberto Pérez. Here. Thank you. Uh, Glenda Ligia Corena. Present. Thank you. Cecilia Elizabeth Reynosa. Present. Thank you. Héctor Eduardo López. Here. Thank you. And Delmi Beatriz Vázquez. Here. A ver, ya apareció José Jacinto Rafael. Here. Arlen Vanessa. Arlen Vanessa. Okay, so I'm going to send you to the small groups. Please practice your sentences with your classmates. See you in five minutes.
Hey, Arlen. Hola. ¿Qué pasó? Es que mi internet se cae, entonces me conecto, me desconecto, me vuelvo a conectar y así estoy. Okay, people, I think I would like to do another activity, but we don't have time. Me gustaría hacer otra actividad, pero ya no tenemos tiempo porque tenemos que pasar con los pacientes de 10 a 11. Hola. Y ese de que ahora me hablaron y me dijeron que el lunes vamos a tener otra clase. Exacto. Eh, Ajá, yo pensé que el viernes terminaba, pero me dijeron de que el lunes todavía tenemos sesión. Entonces, no sé si la encuesta la vamos a resolver el viernes o el lunes. No, la encuesta el viernes. La encuesta okay. siempre la vamos a hacer el viernes, ¿verdad? Bien, bien, bien. Va que este mañana dijo que nos íbamos a quedar unos minutos después, ¿verdad? Ya nos vamos a quedar, porque vamos a eh, Es que es otra sesión, no es la misma sesión. La, la verdad, tenemos que salir de este y entrar a la otra. Me imagino que les enviaron el, el enlace para la sesión privada. ¿Ya? ¿Qué es? Por ahí lo deben de tener, ¿no? Entonces, este... Sí, en el grupo aparece. Sí. Nos quedamos acá por hoy. See you tomorrow. Mañana, como les digo, vamos a tener unos minutitos bye, bye. extra. Bye, See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Good night. Echan, tómense el café más bye, amable. Bye, bye. Good night. Good night. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. See you tomorrow. <laughs>